solve one problem on analysis of ic engine mechanism to find out first displacement of piston second velocity of piston third acceleration of piston fourth angular velocity of connecting rod five angular acceleration of connecting rod let us understand some important formulae related to ic engine mechanism with the help of diagram so this is the piston cylinder arrangement this p to c is the connecting rod and this o to c is the crank of radius r now as the crank rotates through an angle theta from this inner dead center at the same time piston is getting displaced from this point to this point and this displacement is shown with xp now where is the direction of the movement so direction of movement of the piston is towards the right hand side now we will move how to calculate displacement of piston so its a notation is xp so xp is equal to r in bracket 1 minus cos theta plus r in bracket n minus under root of n square minus sin square theta here r is the radius of the crank theta is the angle made by crank with this inner dead center line n is the obliquity ratio where n is equal to l by r where l is the length of the connecting rod now we will move to the next formula velocity of the piston so how to calculate this so vp is equal to r omega sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2 under root of n square minus sin square theta Well, omega is the angular velocity of the crank. So I will show here the direction. So this is the direction of the angular velocity. Now, when this V P is positive, that means the motion of the piston is towards the right hand side. And when the answer for this velocity of piston V P is negative, that means piston is moving in towards the left hand side direction. so when the direction of the movement is towards the left hand side then the answer of vp is negative and here the answer is positive now if we observe what is this n n is l by r now when in some cases l is greater than r that means the ratio of n is greater than 1 so when n is greater than 1 then n square is large and as compared to n square this sin square theta is small so we have to neglect this sin square theta then what is the formula so formula for vp is equal to r omega sin theta plus sin of 2 theta by 2 under root of n square that is n so this is the final formula to calculate velocity of piston next formula acceleration of piston so this formula depends upon whether this omega is uniform or omega is not uniform so when this omega is constant then we can say angular velocity of omega of crank is uniform so in this case acceleration of piston that is ap is equal to r omega square cos theta plus cos 2 theta by a this formula is used now in the second case angular velocity of crank is not uniform so when this omega is not uniform that means it is changing with respect to time so how we can write this so when omega is changing with respect to time that is d omega by dt and this d omega by dt is nothing but angular acceleration alpha so when alpha is equal to d omega by dt radians per second square then in this case we have to use formula ap is equal to r omega square cos theta plus cos of 2 theta by n plus r alpha in second bracket sin theta plus sin 2 theta by 2n next formula angular velocity of connecting rod so because of connecting rod we will use here suffix c that is omega c is equal to omega cos theta by n then next angular acceleration of connecting rod so angular acceleration is alpha and for connecting rod we will use here suffix c now this angular acceleration will depend on two conditions 
Now these two conditions are related to this omega of the crank that is the angular velocity of the crank. So when this angular velocity omega of the crank is uniform that is omega is constant then we have to use formula alpha c is equal to minus omega square sin theta by n. And when this omega is not uniform. So not uniform that means it is changing with respect to time d omega by dt but d omega by dt that means alpha and unit is radians per second square. So when alpha is mentioned in the question then we have to use formula alpha c is equal to minus omega square sin theta by n plus alpha cos theta by n. Now when the answer for this angular velocity of connecting rod or the angular acceleration of the connecting rod is negative. Whenever the answer is negative then we have to conclude that answer as the direction of rotation of this connecting rod as well as crank is same. Given question in a slider crank mechanism the stroke of slider is 200 mm and obliquity ratio is 4.5. The crank rotates uniformly at 1000 rpm in clockwise direction. When the crank is 30 degree past the ODC, find first velocity and acceleration of piston, second angular velocity and angular acceleration of connecting rod. Let us understand given data with the help of diagram. Stroke of this slider is mentioned in the question. So, this slider is having displacement in between fixed two points and it is connected to the crank through this connecting rod. So as this crank moves from this inner dead center towards the outer dead center, one stroke is getting completed. So what is the distance in between this inner dead center to the outer dead center as this crank length or crank radius is r. So this total displacement of this horizontal line is equal to 2R. So this 2R is equal to the stroke length. And the stroke of this slider is given 200 millimeter that is 0.2 meter. So we can say that this stroke of slider capital L which is equal to 2R and, and which is equal to 0.2 meter. So what is the value of R that is crank length R is equal to 0.1 meter. Now the obliquity ratio is given n is equal to 4.5. So L by R is equal to obliquity ratio. So what is this L? L is equal to n into R that is n 4.5 into 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.45 meter. Now speed of this crank is given n in RPM that is 1000 RPM and its a direction is also mentioned. Now its a direction given in clockwise direction. So value if we calculate omega by using formula 2 pi n by 60 then it is also having the same direction of rotation that is clockwise and answer is 104.719 radians per second and I will show here the direction that is same in clockwise direction. Now the displacement of this crank from the outer dead center is mentioned in the question and it is equal to 30 degree. But we know that how to calculate the angle theta. So the angular displacement of this crank always we have to measure the displacement from this inner dead center. So we have to measure this whole angle from inner dead center up to this current position. So how to calculate this whole angle that is this 30 degree plus this total angle is 180 degree. So what is the value of angle theta that is 180 plus 30 which is equal to 210 degree. So this is the dis displacement of this crank from the inner dead center. Now we will move to the first question. So first question is velocity of piston. So we have formula velocity of piston Vp is equal to r omega sin theta plus sin of 2 theta by 2n. So when we put value, so value of r is known, value of omega we have calculated 
and then theta is also known to 110 degree and n is also given so when we put all the values and we calculate then we will get the answer vp is equal to that is velocity of piston is equal to minus 4.228 meter per second now here minus sign is there so from that we can decide the direction of motion of this piston so we know that whenever the positive answer is there direction is towards the right hand side but when negative sign is there so we will show the direction that is towards the left hand side so this is the direction of the motion of the piston now next question acceleration of the piston so acceleration of piston ap so what is the formula it is r omega square cos theta plus cos of 2 theta by n now we will put value so r is known omega is known so here cos of 210 plus cos of 2 into 210 by n that is 4.5 so when we calculate then this acceleration is also having negative sign so for this negative sign that is we have to decide the direction now its answer is 827.844 meter per second square now for that negative sign we, we can say that the direction is towards the left hand side direction and we have to show this. Now next question angular velocity of connecting rod. So angular velocity that is omega and base suffix we have to write here c for the connecting rod. So omega c is equal to omega cos theta by n. Now when we put value. 104.719 into cos of 210 divided by 4.5 then we will get the answer minus 20.153 radians per second so here is the negative sign so from this negative sign we can say that the direction of motion of this connecting rod as well as this crank is same so we know that direction of the motion of this crank as omega is in clockwise direction. So I will show here the clockwise direction. So same direction of motion for this connecting rod. So negative sign is for same direction of motion. Direction of motion for crank and connecting rod. So the, in this way we have to conclude for this negative sign. Now we will move next. Angular acceleration of connecting rod. So this angular acceleration depends on two conditions. Whether the omega is uniform. So omega is for this crank. That is angular velocity of crank is uniform. Or the angular velocity of crank is not uniform. So what is the meaning omega is not uniform that is there is d omega by dt that is angular velocity is changing with respect to time t and that is nothing but alpha. So in this case or for this question alpha is not mentioned that is alpha is equal to 0 so omega we have to consider as a constant or we can say uniform. So for this uniform omega we have to use formula alpha c is equal to minus omega square sin theta by n now when we put value then we will get the answer 1218.452 radians per second square